to my channel. Today I'm sharing another copycat recipe. This time it is going to be the Cracker Barrel Hash Brown Casserole. This one is so good. I've been making it for years. Hands down one of my favorites. It's just like cheesy, gooey, potatoey goodness. If you've never tried it, make sure you stay tuned because this is one you're definitely going to want to try out. And if you're new here, make sure you consider hitting that little red subscribe button. I do lots of cooking videos, copycat recipes. I do a what's for dinner every single Sunday. So if that is something that you are interested in, make sure you go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get cooking. To start off, I'm just cutting up the onion. So I'm using about half of a large yellow onion and I am making sure to cut the pieces nice and small because you don't want large chunks of onion in this casserole. This casserole is incredibly easy to put together, which is why it's one of my favorites to make. I especially love doing this for parties or something because you can actually prep it ahead of time. Here I am just adding in one cup of sour cream, and then you're also gonna be adding in a can of cream of chicken soup. For seasonings, it's super simple. You're just gonna need half a teaspoon of black pepper, and then you're also going to need one teaspoon of salt. And then you're gonna be adding in that onion that you had chopped up earlier. And then just go ahead and mix all of this together. And of course, since this is a cheesy hash brown casserole, you're gonna need some cheese. The recipe calls for cheddar, but I usually will just use Colby and Monterey Jack because I always have that on hand. So you're gonna add about a cup of that. And then here I'm adding in the hash browns. The recipe does recommend to thaw them out first, but honestly, I usually use frozen. It turns out just fine. But you're gonna need 30 ounces of those. So I'm adding one full bag and then part of another one. So the only thing about using frozen hash browns instead of thawing them out first is just that they're a little bit harder to mix up. You can see that I had a few clumps in there so it just takes me a little bit longer to mix them up but they seriously turn out just fine. So if you didn't thaw them out first, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and use the frozen ones like I did. And then you're just going to spray a casserole dish. This is a nine by 13 baking pan. I'm just spraying it with some olive oil and then dump your hash browns right in there and spread them out evenly. I do like to cover mine up with some aluminum foil and then you're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for right around 45 to 55 minutes. It's just gonna depend on your oven and also how like crispy you want them. And then you're just going to pull it out in those last 10 minutes and add on about a cup of shredded cheese right on top. And then you're gonna bake them for another 10 minutes and they're gonna come out and they're just gonna be these delicious gooey gooey cheesy potatoes you guys this recipe is absolutely amazing this is perfect for parties grad parties just a really yummy side dish for a barbecue or something i seriously love this recipe if you've never tried it before you're gonna have to try it and let me know if you like it it is seriously delicious Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you tag me on Instagram if you give this recipe a try. I would love to see how your guys' turned out. And if you're new here, make sure you consider hitting that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.